Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and romantic stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, I bring you news. Catherine stole the limelight in the most wanted cocktail dresses as the world's fans are melting in her fashion statement. It's common knowledge that Princess Catherine represents a stylish legend who stands the test of the period of time so that the school's out for the summer season. We thought it would be fun to reflect back on some of her most memorable looks. That tiered party outfit that Catherine wore, right? Yes, we do. As a blogger, I've covered Princess Catherine's clothes for more than a decade. Princess Catherine's taste in cocktail attire is very chic. In addition, my daughter commented that the party dress was a great fit for the elegant and refined Princess Catherine. Let's get started and go forward in memory lane to the era when Princess of Wales wore the cutest and most stunning cocktail dress ever. The needle and thread Aurora Ballerina outfit in cherry red sequins is what Princess Catherine is wearing. The elegant evening gown was worn by Princess Catherine on the 20th of January 2020, while attending the UK Africa Business Conference dinner at Buckingham Palace in London. The beautiful Aurora Ballerina gown is a classic, with a figure-flattering A-line cut, ruffle shoulders and neckline accents, a full skirt and lengthy netting sleeves. Red chiffon is used, and historical lace overlays are mimicked with carefully positioned and toned rhinestones. The garment is made of red chiffon, along with being embroidered with subtle rhinestones that are strategically arranged to evoke the look of an antique lacy overlay. Needle and Thread has been a London-based label launched in 2013 by Hannah Coffin, and the aforementioned is the sole known piece Catherine has worn from the label. The British design house has become well known for its elaborate needlework, which appears in a wide variety of garments and items. Each item, from fanciful day gowns to ethereal evening wear, has been handmade with a delicate femininity as well as a nod to the past in mind. The shimmering emerald green gown worn by the vampire's wife, known as the Falconetti, the princess debuted a metallic midi gown in emerald throughout the event in March of 2020, while on a state tour to Ireland. According to the famous magazine, this was a major milestone in regal fashion. Catherine appeared modest yet directional, they stated. How about fashion? The public picture drawn by Jamie Corrath and released in June of 2022 was the following time that we witnessed Catherine in the emerald glittering outfit. Catherine obviously knew that she would get plenty of attention in her glistening green. Neither of us had previously witnessed her in something like that. The shade was ideal for a trip to Ireland. According to the vampire's wife, the gown was inspired by the Gibson girl shape of the beginning of the 20th century, thus being consistent with the label's vintage vibe. The clothing item has a ruched hemline and shoulder padding for extra support, as well as a form-fitting bodice along with sleeves that are puffy. Similar ruffle accents can be seen on the dress's elbow-length sleeves. The flowy gown is made with silky mix. Catherine, Princess of Wales, selected a custom variation that resembled this gorgeous outfit for her 40th anniversary portrait. Among the three portraits, this one is considered the most imperial. The British photojournalist Cecil Beaton, who has photographed the Queen and Princess Margaret for decades, has been reported to have served as inspiration for Catherine, according to a royal insider. Two of Beaton's photos, on display at the National Portrait Gallery, are seen underneath. Catherine is sporting a dress that features a flowing puff sleeves along with an asymmetrical top. Outfit 3 taken from the brand's Autumn Winter 2021 assortment. Sarah Burton's collections for the Anemones Fall 2021 promotion were motivated by the blossoming plants, the gown that features a striking blossom design in crimson. Outfit by Tempe London, Desdemona Pattern While travelling to Assam, Catherine stopped in Delhi, India, before having a conversation with India's leader of the country, Narendra Modi. She spent the early hours with homeless kids and then transformed herself into the Templey London Desdemona gown. The Desdemona gown by Templey London has an elevated collar, 
a defined waistline and a ruffled midi length that is brought out by folds. There's a bohemian feel to it, according to Templey. It's constructed entirely of cotton. Influenced by conventional Spanish folkwear, it's made of a jade-coloured antique lace. It's easy to assume that Templey London represents one of Catherine's go-to fashion houses. She uses their clothes on a daily basis. In honour of the 2015 Day of Remembrance, Catherine wears Dolce & Gabbana. Catherine wore a black Dolce & Gabbana lacy outfit for dinner. The Italian-made evergreen gown by Dolce & Gabbana captures the time of year's dark, magical spirit. This piece of translucent lace is accentuated by its silk mix slip and its cinched waistline, using flashy accessories and pointed toe heels to accentuate yours to keep. Black Embroidered Dress by Dolce & Gabbana this is not Catherine's initial occasion donning a Dolce & Gabbana creation. You may remember that the Princess of Wales wore it on one of the label's purple dresses. The pair of diamond drop studs and the Princess of Wales donned were said to have been a wedding present that she received from Prince Charles. You may recall that she debuted the studs during the 2011 Canadian National Day festivities. Catherine's purse in the Anya Hindmarsh moored style, so you may recognise it. The Princess of Wales has been using this purse for quite some time. Catherine finished off her outfit with a pair of black designer Jimmy Choo Amy shoes. In recent years, the Princess of Wales has been seen wearing them on many occasions. She possesses the black and grey leather versions. Throughout her trip to Belize in 2022, Princess Catherine donned a garment by the vampire's wife, called the Light-Hearted Dreamer. Catherine wore this show-stopping outfit at a formal evening event. Kahal Pesh, an old Mayan destruction, provided a fitting backdrop for the rich, dazzling emerald hue. I really, really want to see Catherine wear this dress again. Amazing, both in colour and quality of the cloth. This gorgeous evening dress has a scooped bodice, an elasticised waist that is subtly emphasised with fluttering sleeves, as well as a floor-length train. Various tones of ruby threads made the metal are sewn into the material of the garment. According to the vampire's wife, to finish off her outfit, Catherine applied an elastic belt. The ribbon belt is not provided inside the ready-to-wear dress. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Which cocktail dress do you find the most attractive and why? If you have any last ideas or comments, please share them with us.